Hey guys, so I've got a new tutorial today and this is going to be about creating a raindrop effect um, which somebody suggested. Now this is not going to be the best way to do it but this is just a way that I thought you know, marginally worked. Now this is the first time I've actually shown like a preview of what I'm going to do so you know if people like that make sure that you you know tell me and I'll try and remember to do it each time that I make a video. Now what we're going to start off by doing is I've um, taken I've made a little image here which has got you know a soft edge and it's just a sort of dark sort of circle and we're gonna use this make sure it's got a transparent background but I'll add this to the script package if you know you want to download it and use it for your own now what I've done is created a raindrop material and this has got the particles additive shader now if you right click on your um, project and you click import um, package you can import the particles package if you don't already have that um, that set um, shader now you then you add your image to that shader and you know you can change its color you know however you like now what we've got is I've got a particle system which actually creates this images um, multiple times and I've attached it to the main camera so it always follows us around I'm just gonna go through the basic parameters of this particle system you know so I don't um, forget or bore you with the actual outcome. Now I've just gone, if you go to the renderer tab at the bottom you can add the raindrop material that you've created and you can create a material if you didn't know already right click create and then um, material. Now as I say if you add your material in there your max particle size can be something like 0.17. Uh, now all these um, parameters that I'm going to give you you can change depending on what you like now the next thing you want to change is if you click on particle system at the top make sure duration is 120 make sure it's ticked as looping um, don't have um, pre-warm ticked start delay 0.8 um, start lifetime roughly 4 start speed roughly 1 um, start size 0.5 you know I'm just giving you roughly because it doesn't have to be exact and then start rotation can be 3 gravity multiply needs to be about 0.17 just so it falls down um, make sure it plays on awake and max cap particles can be roughly a thousand on emission you can put roughly 5.5 and keep everything the same the shape needs to be you know um, a sphere sort of particle emitter and then the radius can be about 4 and you can take the box so the emitter a random direction now if you take velocity over lifetime x can be minus 0.5 y can be minus um, 1.52 and z can be minus 2.49 as I say these just affect the way it moves over its lifetime and limit its velocity over lifetime if you tick that box make sure the um, speeds about 0.09 and the dampens 0.41 as I say all of these can be changed it just depends what you would like to use now from here we're going to actually create a script which lets us control when we d um, display this and when we don't because you might not always want um, it to be raining and have this effect in front of your face and I'll show you how to turn these on and off and do it accordingly now I've downloaded a sort of rain asset from the asset store but if you want to have a tutorial on how to make one I'll go ahead and do that if people want now I've added a box collider to this and just made it is trigger so we're going to actually use this to um, trigger when we want the event to happen now what we're going to do is create a javascript file and call this raindrops then from there we'll double click and open it up in mono develop in mono develop we'll create a variable called cam drops set it as type particle system then I'll also have a function start close the two brackets add two curly brackets and say cam drops dot stop with the two brackets and then a semicolon that just makes sure that it stops the particle system when we don't want it to happen then we're going to write another function called function on trigger enter then open up a brackets call it call call on collider close that up add two curly brackets then we'll say if call dot tag is equal to player then we'll add two curly brackets underneath and then we'll say cam drops dot play and two curly um, two brackets and the semicolon we'll copy that one function paste it in underneath change the on trigger 
enter to on trigger exit and then what we'll do is change cam drops to cam drops dot stop like the top we'll save that out go back into unity we'll add the script to um, the rain particle effect that we've got now you need to make sure that you add your particle system to that script so when you walk into it it knows what it's doing and now if I press play you might notice that it's actually raining currently but that doesn't really matter it's because when we walk into the collider um, you'll notice that we start getting a visual effect like um, you know rain on maybe some goggles or some glasses that your character might be wearing and it just emits the particle effect in a sort of random direction now if we walk out of this collider you'll notice that it then eventually fades away and only when you go back in does it actually you know start beginning um, again so that's pretty much the entirety of it just a very simple script which takes you know when you enter the collider it starts playing and when you know it stops and we just created a basic texture added the particles shaded to it and then created a simple particle system which you can change depending on what you like and you know make a sort of visual effect that you need so as ever if you like the tutorial don't forget to like comment and subscribe cheers